Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today we're taking a look at how to create data-driven alerts for Tableau Online or Tableau Cloud. So if this is useful to you, we'd love to know. Pop your questions in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, but otherwise, the basic idea of what we're trying to do today is to create an alert based off of dashboards or worksheets that you have in Tableau Cloud that you're monitoring over time. And you only want those, al those alerts when something, a metric, goes above or below a certain threshold. So what that means is you don't want a subscription, right? You don't just need this dashboard um, email to you once a week or every day for you to go and check out whether this is going okay or not. The idea is you only want the alert when your numbers pass a certain threshold. So how would we do that? Well, this is a dashboard that I've got saved on Tableau Online. This is our dynamic zone visibility dashboard, actually, from a tutorial that we made a couple of months ago. Maybe it's almost a year ago now. So if you want to find out more about dynamic zone visibility or what's going on in this dashboard, you're welcome to check that out in the description below. But we are going to try and follow one of these metrics. So the metric we're, we're going to follow is this profit measure down at the bottom. Now, I'll select a measure is profit over here. And I think I published this dashboard before Tableau had, had updated the ability to dynamically rename your axis based off of uh, a parameter. So that's why it says swap a measure. But here we've got profit and we want to watch this, this uh, profit metric basically to say any subcategories that drop below zero, we want that information. I want to be alerted straight away. So what I'm going to do, when you open it up, you probably have this blank dashboard and we're going to watch it. So we're going to click on watch. We're going to go to alerts, not subscription. Subscription is I just email you a copy, even if nothing's changed. So I'm going to click on alerts and all the pre-existing alerts that we have linked to this dashboard are going to be here on the right. So you can see I, uh, you know, updated this one three days ago. I created this alert three days ago. So there it is. And what I'm going to do here is click on create. Now, when you click create, you are going to get a little prompt. You must select the numeric axis first of your chart. So we need to come down here first to select on profit and then create. Our menu pops up. We can You can immediately see this like conditional language. So it's above or equal to or below or equal to, which is actually what we want. And my threshold is going to be zero. So anything that's not profitable. And then you just name it something really professional. Uh oh profit going down and the condition when the condition is true how often do you want this now <laughs> choose wisely here because if you say as frequently as possible you could be getting an email every couple of minutes so if you're expecting a high volatility and you don't necessarily need to track the volatility you just want like a daily snapshot maybe you just say daily at most so watch out it could be <laughs> it could be interesting the second thing is down here, we can make our alert visible to others, meaning they're able to uh, subscribe to this alert or add this alert to something that they want to watch too. So especially if you're working in a team and you expect multiple people to be working with this, maybe that's a nice option. Lastly, you can add in some recipients. So these would be people on your team. This is all managed by the permissions that you have in Tableau Online and Tableau Cloud. You can't just share this with a bunch of randoms. You know, These need to be people that you, that are, in that uh, ecosystem. So Eric and I can, can view this dashboard and set up some alerts. And that's all because uh, we are sharing this, this Tableau cloud space. So that's pretty cool. So now I can create this alert. Okay, alert successfully created, fantastic. I'll get a confirmation email to say that this has been, that this has been set up. So as this changes, if any of these subcategories drop below zero, uh, we're going to get an email alerting us to that. Now I'll show you how to manage all the alerts that you have and subscribe to some or create them and then sort of hand them off to your team in just two seconds. But let me say that if you're interested in learning more about Tableau, we've got some awesome winter classes coming up. We'd love to have you there. Uh, why not check those out? We also have a training passport, which gives you access to every class we've ever taught at 50% off. So that's up to like 64 hours of live training. Uh, and we'd, we'd love to have you there. All our class recordings are available for two weeks after the class is taught. So you're not just, you know, stressing, trying to get everything done, get it into your, into your head before you leave the class. So we really think that's a nice option. If you want to join us for classes, you plan on taking more than one. I think that's a great option. Okay. So let me show you how to manage these. So I'm going to click on my little, uh, you know, 
name initials up here. I'm gonna to go to my content. All my content is gonna be here. I'm gonna come through to alerts and you can see these are the alerts that we have. So this one, these were both uh, here, my last alert, September 27. And you can see this is the last time I checked this dashboard myself. So that's quite nice. Now we can like mass select and get rid of these, change the owner means you're handing them over to someone else on your team. So that's quite useful. I don't want to manage these. You move out of your role, something like that, but you don't want the alert to disappear. Whatever it might be, you can do that. The second thing is you can always remove yourself from an alert. So that means the alert stays, you, you move out of it. And lastly, if you go into edit the alert, it's actually just going to bring you back to the original page that we were on and it should fire up a little watch page but it has not. And then we just click on alerts and go and work these out. Okay, so hopefully that was useful. Um, if there are any questions, you're welcome to pop them down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, thanks so much for joining us.